Hey guys, so now we're going to move on to writing the equations of circles. And writing the equation of a circle is super easy once you have the center and the radius. So the first thing you want to do is find the center. Sometimes it's going to be easier than others. Since we have these nice intersection points here um, on the top and the bottom and the right and the left, you can kind of count and see that this point right here is going to be the center of our circle. So we can see that that's three units from the top dot, from the bottom dot, from the left, and from the right. So we can confidently say that that point is the center. So then you want to find what that ordered pair is. Just be real careful because the way these pictures are cut, the origin um, is not always in the center and you want to make sure that you're counting in the correct direction. So this point is actually um, a left two and up one. So my center would then be the ordered pair, negative two, one. And then my radius, you're going to get your radius just from counting. Um, when it's a nice centered uh, circle like this, you can totally just count one, two, three. It doesn't hurt to make sure that you are at that center and that you're at three units away in all four directions. So my radius is going to be three. So now if we think about our formula, the general equation, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. If we go ahead and plug in our h and our k, we would have x minus negative 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 3 squared. Now some of you are going to jump right to this final step where we clean it up, simplify a little bit, make it look all perfect. x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 9. So that right there would be your final answer. Notice that in your final equation, the signs in your parentheses are the opposite from the signs in your center. Just like when we started with the equation to find the center, we took the opposite signs. So we're going to try a little bit more difficult problem here. Notice um, you're got, you've got different points around the circle, so that's going to um, help us in finding our radius later. So the center has been identified for us, so we'll first find that point. Notice that the origin is up here, so we're moving left 1, 2, 3, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4. So my center is actually going to be at negative 3, negative 4. Now, to find the radius, we're going to have to work a little bit harder because we can't just find that value. We can't just approximate it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to either use the Pythagorean theorem with the graph or I will also show you the distance formula only because sometimes you're going to have to do that if you have ordered pairs. So if you think about um, the distance formula, let me, let me give you that. So the distance is equal to the square root of x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. And I know the actual formula has x2s and x1s. Those don't really matter. When you do the subtraction and you square it, you're just finding that distance. So that's irrelevant. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find the two ordered pairs that you're working with to use their x and their y coordinates. So you can pick any of the three ordered pairs that are on the graph here. I personally am going to go ahead and use this ordered pair right here, which is at 0, negative 2. And I'm going to use that one because it's always nice when you have the number 0 involved. So this distance is really... your radius. Okay, now we're going to find that radius. So my radius is going to equal the square root of, so if we have our two ordered pairs, 0, negative 2, and our center of negative 3, negative 4, we can go ahead and start plugging these in. So x minus x is going to be 0 minus negative 3 squared plus negative 2 minus negative 4 squared. Simplify this a little bit. 0 minus negative 3 is going to be positive 3 squared. Negative 2 minus negative 4 is going to be a 2 squared. 
So now we have the square root of 9 plus 4. Remember your order of operations you have to do inside the radical first. So now we know that r equals the square root of 13. Keep in mind what you're really solving for or what you really need for your equation is r squared. So r squared is going to be regular plain old 13. Now, the problem is asking me for my radius, so I will go ahead and write in the square root of 13 because that's my actual radius. Now, if we want to go ahead and show you how to use the Pythagorean theorem, we can say, all right, we're looking for this line right here. That is my radius, a point from on my circle to the center of the circle. And then I want to go ahead and draw the legs of my right triangle. So remember Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the c squared in this case is our r. So to find that a value, a is blue here, so 1, 2, 3, so we'll have 3 squared plus, let's make b squared green, b is 1, 2, so 2 squared equals c squared is my radius, so we'll call that r squared now. So then, just doing the math, you're going to get 9 plus 4 equals r squared, which means that 13 equals r squared. And hey, 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 that's what we got when we did the distance formula. Pythagorean theorem is definitely a lot easier, a lot quicker, and you should probably use that when you have a graph. So we've got that r squared is 13. We've got our center here at negative 3, negative 4. We have everything we need now to pop those into our equation. So we have x minus negative 3 squared plus y minus negative 4 squared equals my radius, which is the square root of 13, squared. And this is coming from my equation that's on the top of your note paper. Clean it up, make it look nice and pretty. x plus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 13. And some of you will jump straight to that answer, and that's totally fine.